Welcome back to GMA3. The holiday season is upon us, and what better way to celebrate than with delicious food? That is smelling so good in here. We are so honored to have the chef uh, who's going to show us two great dishes and new ways that we can celebrate our different cultures. Please welcome Cook MacArthur and host of Culture Kitchen Chef, Bryn Oh, Bryn Oh, I like that. How are you? Happy holiday. Yes. What are we making here? It smells so good. Honey, let me tell you, the holidays are all about celebrating your family and your loved ones and obviously delicious food. So mm -hmm. I thought that for you all today, I would spread out for you guys these amazing lollipop lamb chops. Okay. okay. Right? What makes it the lollipop is just the It's the, just the, the size, shape. yeah, the okay. shape. And because they're really like manageable with your hand, right? So mm -hmm. we all you wash our hands. Yeah. Look at that, yes, right? Yes, Look yes. at wow. that. Um, with this gorgeous they mint parsley, heavy loaded on the garlic sauce. It's okay. amazing. So it's a beautiful relish that we do over here. And then for you guys to pair with the lamb chops, we've got this Gorgeous whipped butternut squash with coconut milk in it, pistachios. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. yes. Ooh, honey, I've got oh. some pomegranate. Right, before we get into this, chef, let's talk about Ooh. this. Let's so get to the spices yeah. and everything. We're getting a good okay. sear on these. So, so what's the trick here? Uh, what I want you to do is use a cast iron skillet, mm -hmm. right? Do some light olive oil because you don't want to get a smoke point too high. Okay. okay. And then you want to let them cook on each side for about three minutes, depending on your doneness, right? And these okay. are popping a little. These are popping. That's perfect. Okay. So I want. Do Mark, you want to cook? Sure, sure. Go in there. So give me two of these little lollipops in here. And then, so three minutes on each side for about a medium rare. If you want medium, you're going to give about four minutes to each side. Like look like a natural like in here. That? You know that? Is that beautiful? I mean, the sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> the sizzle is where it's at. You want to hear sizzle because that means that the meat is doing what it's supposed to yeah. on that skillet. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, honey, honey. No, no, Season no, these right here. You and if you forgot, like we just did, salt, pepper, and a little bit of cayenne is going to give it a really oh, nice wow. heat. So this is what I was distracting him with the mint relish is going to contrast really beautifully. So sweet, spicy. How mm -hmm. we like it in the kitchen. I like how yeah. you like the little salt bay action. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying okay, to impress you. Right. I'm trying to impress right. you. So, what's the sauce? Tell so us the, the secret to the sauce. So, the sauce is the mint here. and the um, parsley. But what I want you to do when okay. you're cooking mm -hmm. meat at home, let it rest for don't a few minutes. Don't cut it right away. Yeah, don't cut it right away. Let it rest like continuous cooking inside. Okay. Wait a minute. Why not cut it right away? No, because you want the internal temperature to get to a point. So, for medium rare, you want it at about 135. For medium, about 145. So removing it from the skillet on time and resting it allows yeah, the, juice the cooking process to, wow. uh, you know, happen inside. All right. So while that's resting, Ooh, we're gonna good. dump in all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you want to help me? Yeah, here, girl? I'll help with the sauce. Here. All right, come on. I'm, I'm so coming. we got some fresh mint. We got lots some of herbs. Lots of fresh parsley. Now, if you're growing mint or parsley at home, you can do this at home. You can do this. A couple days in advance, store it in a glass jar type container, It'll stay good. freeze it. Wow. Oh, you can freeze it. You can totally freeze it. So we've got some and the, olive the oil. the herbs won't wilt or anything like no, that? No, because, no. With, you, bring, you can use dry herbs for that too. Okay. So we got some garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got some honey, because honey Ooh. makes everything sweeter. Here, you can do that for me. I'll do that for you. Or no, or this. Here. Okay, we can bump that down, DeMarco. Okay. okay. We've got ground. Cloves. So look, cloves, you guys, cloves. I'm Cuban, was born in Cuba, raised in DC, and cloves, I'm sharing with you guys, because I love you all watching. Cloves is my secret ingredient in my black beans recipe. Oh, so when you're making black beans, okay. 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 so okay. all the secrets. Add today. a little bit, you can use whole cloves or ground like we just did okay, here. Okay, you just added salt. To salt, this pepper, mixture. and okay. then the cloves. Okay, and your cloves. It smells. Oh, whoa. We have okay, okay, we got happy here, girl. So okay. let me ask you this, because you talked you really about celebrating our, our differences. Is this a Cuban? Inspired mm -hmm. recipe, or is it a little bit everything? So, I did not grow up eating lamb chops, but I did grow up eating a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. And so, as I have traveled the world exploring food cultures, I thought that it was incredibly appropriate and also really fun to come back to my parents' house and say, hey, mm -hmm. these are techniques that I've learned along the way, and I just absolutely love lamb chops. Also, Papi, if you're watching, Papi. I know that you make a really good lamb Papi. chop, so <laughs> this is really an honor of my dad who loves, loves, loves lamb. Okay, so here we go. That this is done. Amazing. It's almost we like, like a chicken curry style. Okay, situation. we turn that off. Because you can turn yeah. these for me. Want to okay. turn those for me? Ooh, look at that. It's a nice little sear you're getting mm -hmm. there. I like it. Okay. So then, this, this is, is what a butternut squash puree looks like. Mm -hmm. So you can roast your butternut squash and then let it cool, mash it, whip it up. I added some uh, coconut oil or coconut. Do you season um, it before it, when you bake it? You, well, you can you put salt, salt, and salt okay. a little bit of salt, white pepper, not white black pepper, pepper for this. Yeah. Oh, and then enough. mash it up, or you can just straight away boil it okay. and then mash it and then whip it. But we have some coconut milk in there, which is going to give it a beautiful Caribbean Silky inspired oh, wow. flavor profile. Looks and then, of course, it. we've got the pomegranate seeds, toasted pistachio, we've got wow. fresh sage, and then the mint is going to go on top of our lollipop. Now, how do you get the, uh, the pomegranate? Yeah. Seeds to so it come out. So you see that whole pomegranate over there? Already done. Yes. You might want to <laughs> wear gloves because all of that juice, which is really good for you, antioxidants, it's going to actually stain. 
So wear mm -hmm. gloves, and then you're going to gently separate it, and then you can scoop out the pomegranates. Or if you want to cheat for the holidays, you just buy go out the way down. You just buy them out of the pan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to plate mine here, and we've okay. already the magic Look of TV. Look how gorgeous it is too. It's so colorful. for you guys here. Mm. Here. And then of course, because everything drizzled makes it sexier. What is that? This is just a maple bourbon syrup. Bourbon syrup. That, and then I'm going to garnish mine. So All right, and while you're finishing it. up this plate, we just yeah. want to say thank you very much. We're yeah. out of time, but yes. you are the bomb, and you're always welcome back. Thank you. Friend. Happy holidays. Yes, Can you I too. In? And be sure to check out more of what she has cooking up on Culture Kitchen on Cleo TV. And for today's recipes, go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food or scan the QR code on your screen. Again, Chef Brad. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.